The decorated textile sling weapon offered here is attributed to the ancient pre-Spanish Chamu, Chanque culture. Sling weapons like this were used with deadly effectiveness in hunting and warfare. This highly decorated example would have been both functional and owned by a prestigious noble warrior as many are not this vibrantly colored or embellished. It is framed in the original frame box from the museum which it was originally a part of. There is one break from ancient times that is taped together but not restored. Complete South American pre-Columbian textiles are air. Most for sale are small cut swatches of burial clothes of mummies that are purposely cut for market. A great number are restored either with modern dye, or modern cloth is woven in and colored to imitate the original fabric. Unlike most pre-Columbian textiles seen for sale, this specimen has not been enhanced with any modern dye or re-sewing. Still encased in the original museum glass top case numbered to the original museum inventory card and photo which will be included. This spectacular authentic ancient textile also comes with a letter from the museum documenting the decommission sale. Guaranteed authentic with a written certificate issued by us. Anyone that has been collecting artifacts for a while knows how rare it is for a museum to decommission a piece from their collection and offer it on the public market. This is one of those very rare opportunities for not only collectors, but for museum curators who require some form of documentation to demonstrate that a potential pre-Columbian artifact they wish to acquire has not been a victim of modern looting and illegal import. This ancient textile was formerly in the museum collection of Bernard Buddle who assembled his collection of historical objects of the Americas and founded the Heritage of the Americas Museum which is in operation today in El Cajun, California, USA. This specimen was formerly an inventoried item in the museum collection and its sale by us includes the original typed museum inventory card along with the original museum photograph of this piece. It also includes a letter issued by the museum to document the sale. While the museum continues today, its beloved founder, Mistelg, passed away in 2005 at the age of 85. This piece was most likely acquired by him sometime from the late 1950s to early 1960s includes past provenance notes. You will not find a single authentic ancient Peruvian textile on the market with such a documented provenance as this. We have over a dozen specimens of this museum de commission event and once sold, it is certain an opportunity like this will not be repeated. History The western coastal desert region of South America is considered the most arid place on our planet. Because of this, it has protected ancient objects and near-perfect preservation where most other regions of the world would have claimed them to rot and decay. One of the most famous historical artifacts of pre-Spanish archaeology in this region is ancient textiles of the former Native American empires that once thrived there over 1,000 years ago. Preserved as if many were made just yesterday. These woven textiles shed amazing insight on the mind, beliefs and practices of this ancient peoples. In their world, these woven fabrics were prized greater than gold or silver. The possession of these colorful and intricately woven textiles were a show to all that their owners were among the most noble and richest members of the society of that day. The ancient textiles of this region and peoples were made up of hand-spun and woven fibers. These fibers were either cotton or the wool of indigenous camelids that included the llama, alpaca, guanaco and vicuna. Some textiles were made of dyed fibers, used alternatively with different colors to create patterns. Some textiles were woven of a few or single primary color with the design hand painted on the cloth after the weaving was completed. Other textiles were embroidered and even appliques of gold or silver were added within the weaving. Aside from burial mantles, 
Woven garments included sleeveless shirts with or without fringes, small ponchos, tunics and loin cloths. Formal excavations at many of these pre-Columbian cemeteries revealed that the many of the individual mummies were interred with only a single rough cotton wrapping. Others were wrapped with one or two ordinary cotton cloths, devoid of design or color. The richest graves consisted of individuals elaborately wrapped with two or three mantles decorated with patterns, colorful dyes and even more rarely, with embroidered borders of intricate designs. The design and iconography of the textiles of ancient West Coastal South America sheds light upon the societal, economic and religious institutions that their world was based upon. Some of the imagery appears as if the artisans were recording actual events in the fabric. Other designs were possibly evidence of weavers documenting astronomical observations or religious prophecies. The surreal and intriguing figures and designs leave us with more wonder and mystery of these enigmatic peoples than they explain.